been playing it in recent weeks. Is this about a, as tough a test as you could get at the moment? I, I believe so, defensively, particularly, yeah, of course, they've scored four against um, Arsenal this season and four against the champions. Obviously, beat Chelsea last time out. So they look a very potent threat in attack. Obviously, um, pe people have spoken about the defensive frailty, but you need to have the ball and you need to get in their final third to actually create any problems. So um, I think that's all been made a bit much of because they were good against um, Chelsea. And um, it's just down to us to basically stay in the game as long as we can. And hopefully we can take a chance when we get one like Burnley did. As a defender, when you're facing Liverpool, do you have a different mindset knowing that they will press you high at the pitch and, and put you under pressure? Um, I think when you play yeah, any team, not just Liverpool, I think when you play against those teams as a defender, as a, as, as a team, as whole city, we usually would defend a little bit more, um, let's say a little bit deeper than um, obviously most games. But it's just obviously, regardless of their pressing game, it's when they've got the ball, you need to make sure that you're on point because that's when the likes of the Origis, the Lalanas, the Manes, the Sturridges, the Coutinho's, Firmino's, they're all crossing over, going into different spaces and that's when you need to be, be very alert because that's when they're most dangerous. Given their high energy game, the way they play, you played with 10 men last week, how much of a relief was it that it didn't go to, to extra time in midweek? I think that was my celebration was more about not going to extra time than actually uh, winning the game. No, all jokes aside, it's um, obviously playing on the Wednesday before the Saturday you play against the Liverpool team that's got the highest running stats. Um, obviously, you don't want to go to extra time. So I was uh, grateful that Marcus put that one away. But um, it's, it's going to be tough regardless. Whether you had a clean week with no game, coming against the Liverpool team that now Klopp has really put his mark on them with how he wants to work, it's obviously it's going to be very difficult. You're a Klopp fan? I like him. I think I obviously don't don't know him personally, but just the way he comes across, he, he comes across as a, a man you'd like to play for. He comes across as a guy that is um, he looks quite firm. But you see him talking to people, and he's quite ex <laughs> well expressive. And um, but then you see him like sort of hugging his players and arm around them. So I think he sort of toes the line well between getting on with the lads and and being a friend. But when it comes to management, he's he's, he's ready to do his job properly. Do you have a player for a manager that likes to hug you after every game? Um, Martin O'Neill likes to hug you sometimes. I don't think I'll get any hugs anytime soon. But um, no, he used to. Martin O'Neill, to be honest, he was he was a manager that um, you you win a game, you win a big game. I remember we beat Anf um, Liverpool at Anfield when I was um, when I was there, and um, I scored. And then after the game, he hugged me and, and said, "Oh yeah, thanks for playing because I had a dodgy shoulder." And so. It does happen, and uh, some managers like to do it. And final one from me. In terms of your own form at the moment, do you feel as though you're playing the best football of your career? Um, I think you can determine that when it's gone over a long extended period. I think I've started well, yeah, that's fair enough. But I think unless you're doing it over a big period in terms of months rather than um, a few games, I think I'll address it come maybe the new year, maybe the end of the season. But um, I'm happy with how I'm doing. I'm, I'm feeling good. Obviously, um, playing again on Wednesday, getting another 90 minutes in was was good. I enjoyed it. And um, I'm just looking forward to the challenge ahead. Physically, are you feeling good? Because you mentioned another 90 minutes on Wednesday. Yeah. And you played it more than anyone in pre-season yeah. as well. It's about my 20th of the season so far. So, um, no, nah, it's like I say, it's a, it was a game where I think the midfielders maybe felt it more than us defenders against Stoke. So it's just for us to sort of stay in and be solid. So um, mentally it was a tough game, but physically um, I'm ready to go again.